Dr. Bedi has been voted the most admired and trusted woman in India by the Reader's Digest, The Week magazine and others over the years. She has a biopic on her life called Yes, Madam Sir, made by an Australian filmmaker.
young mind the more keenly looking forward to your stimulating and inspiring address thank you very much the iipa puducherry has instituted something called the golden jeep jubilee award program they decided this in the year 2018 and so this is the first golden jubilee awards that the iipa puducherry chapter is giving out this is for the field of excellent service and their contributions to the iipa puducherry by conducting a lots of lots of projects and training programs for government departments in puducherry Uh, I will be uh, reading out the names of the awardees, ma'am. I request uh, our Lieutenant Governor, Her Excellency Dr. Kiran Bedi, to give away the awards to the awardees. Station work at the Public Works Department. Ma'am, we are really looking forward to your scintillating address today. Good morning, all of you. What a joy to be with you! It's an institution. It's a, it's a forum where I would be most comfortable, always, call the management concept because that's what we do all our life. I, that's what I've done last more than 45 years now. It's all about administration. I started my personal career at the age of 20 when I started as a lecturer in a college in Amritsar, Khalsa College for Women, Amritsar. So it's all about teaching and administration. So it's been a long, long life of learning and sharing. I want to thank the Puducherry University, most of all the School of Management, and the IIPA for hosting this. Thank you, Vice Chancellor, and thank you, sir, for hosting and bringing me here today this morning. I want to thank all the others who, who are present here: the Dean, Professor, as I mentioned. the uh, dr dhanapali the chairman of the iipa professor charumathi um, vice chancellor i mentioned and um, most of all this young this youngest lady <laughs> she was me and i'm teasing her back <laughs> i just i i honestly believed that somebody from you will come the youngest speaker but that's that's a great compliment so thank you ma'am for uh, your kind words i want to thank uh, dr chatwedi the chairman of the iipa for giving this paul appleby award to 2016 and absolutely honored i remember this award i couldn't go to receive it early for some reason in 2016 and i i didn't know destiny would make me here bring me here and get it from you So thank you, the university, once again, for doing me this honor. I was asking uh, our vice chancellor. The real, real secret of management is conceptual and practical. You know the concept, but then practical application to that concept is critical. Otherwise, theory leaves you. You forget it. theory remains theory but it leaves you ideas but if you really want to learn it it is by doing it is by practical application so therefore i would say try and combine your theoretical management learning as you do as the vice chancellor told me and the dean told me that you go to industrial institutions he told me you go to the tourist uh, department you go somewhere else i think here's an opportunity very rare where puducherry university is at the seat of administration of puducherry is right here and it's all close by and it's willing to co-opt you don't lose this opportunity don't lose a single day of co-option with different departments of governments for instance education department you may be interested in education municipality collector's office healthcare tourism you doing very good rajnivas rajnivas you can be attached to you talked about sunday cycling join me in sunday cycling it's management it's all about learning what is sunday cycling nothing but management it's management by doing practical application dr gurmeet singh mentioned sunday because i brought him out on sunday from his bed <laughs> to show me where are your water harvesting pits because this area is water dry is this management 
You, what is management? Management is identify the problem. Management is where is the solution. Then management is from solution to how is the solution. Then from how is the solution, when is the solution. Then from when is the solution to see, is the solution there, is it working, or do we change? This is what management. Management is not the just, oh, we should have water harvesting. We have a problem, but we should have water harvesting. That's, man, that's theory. We should have. It is from problem to implementation. And then from implementation to see the results. Today, the water level of this whole area has improved because you, Pondicherry University, and the engineering college, we went there also. And we went to tsunami quarters also. That's what Sunday morning is for. Sunday morning could have been asking for a paper report. Paper report tells me it's all dry. Paper report tells me the municipality is uh, spending money to send tankers to the tsunami quarters. Paper report tells me. But where is the solution? Solution is management. Now, why Sunday here? Why not only ask them? Because asking was not working. Asking was not working. Telling was not working. But doing became working. Now you have so many more water harvesting pits that you have improved the water table. What a brilliant place you have. As you enter the university, it's a low-lying area. All this rainwater was going into the, onto the road and onto the sea. What have we done? We've created three, four, five water harvesting pits. All that water, instead of going on the road, it's going down under the ground. Is this management? It's not water harvesting. It's management. But Sunday coming was leadership. Sunday morning coming was leadership. Showing the way, going the way, knowing the way. I know, knew my way, I went the way, and I showed the way. Why biking? Because people need to know what are we coming for. And secondly, you are also donating your own personal time for a cause. That's why you have rallies. That's why you have placards. That's why you have causes. Why do you walk the streets? Why do you cycle? Why do you rally? Why do you go on a mobile? It's to take up a cause and make it visible. So management is all practical. Unfortunately, what happens is that we leave it to the books. And books absolutely disappear. The concepts remain, ideas remain. It becomes information. It doesn't become a skill. From information to a skill, and from a skill to character, from character to all those habits, it requires practical knowledge. So I would suggest this management school should do research, should do studies, get into classrooms, do into research, but associate yourself with administration of Puducherry. Go back, write to the department, say, we have so many interns coming, please attach them. Go and work with the collector's office. Every sub-collector, Go and work with the villages. Why only office? Work with the Dhan Foundation. Work with Nabad. If you want water, if you're linked with the environment, go work with Nabad. Go work with an NGO. You will see the kind of learning you will get because all the nuances, the fine tuning of administration happens only in the field, not in the book. Because the books are already outdated on management. Books are conceptual. Friends, books are already getting outdated. New learning is in the ground, and new learning is in the new research. Therefore, learn the old books, but go back to the field to remain updated. Have you understood? So management is all practical learning, application. I'll take you back to a little story of Raj Devas. How, how we applied administration to change the way we work. You cannot change the way you worked in the past. Change will come only with new understanding and new learning. When I took over as Lieutenant Governor, first of all, this place, Puducherry, did not have a governor for almost two years. So two years, the administration was quite used to having working by itself without a governor, without because then Administrator of Andamans, General Singh, was looking after Puducherry. For almost two years, Lieutenant Governor was not a resident commissioner, resident administrator here. He was clearing files by fax machines and coming once in a while, taking up certain issues, and that's it. 
So he did not have a resident lieutenant governor. And lieutenant governor of Puducherry is a union territory administrator. I do not know whether in management you will know the difference between the governor and an administrator. How many of you know? How many of you know? That's a subject for learning. That's a subject for learning. And it's been coming in the news. Today, Jammu and Kashmir is a state or a union territory? Union territory. So should you not read the Union Territory Act? What is Union Territory about? Today, Ladakh is what? A state or a union territory? <laughs> then what is the difference? <clears throat> what is the difference? Because if you're going to be administering, should you not know this basic knowledge of what is a union territory and what is a governor and a left hand governor? There's been a mass ignorance about the difference between a governor and a left hand governor. Left hand governor's responsibilities are defined under the UT Act, the Union Territory Act, which has been framed by the parliament. And Delhi is a union territory. Andamans is, a, is an administrative, it's a union territory. Chandigarh is a union territory. Today, JNK, um, Ladakh, and Pondicherry is a union territory. The difference is Delhi and Pondicherry has an elected assembly and a union territory, like state, like Jammu and Kashmir. They will have an elected assembly. Ladakh will not have. Ladakh will be on the kinds of, of Andamans. You, as students, need to know this. Do go beyond your books. Don't you read newspapers every day? Why are you quiet? Why are you quiet? You should begin with the newspapers. To me, you cannot be management without knowing how India is being managed. What is challenging India in management? What is outside management today? Which scheme is outside management today? Nothing. Every day, as students, you must read newspapers and need to discuss the news. This is administration. This is management. It cannot be a course. It has to be self-driven. It has to be self-read. But it should be encouraged. That do, How much is your general knowledge? Because that will link you with causes. Because newspaper tells you with the challenges and causes. And it's management linked. So when I told you when I came here, two years, Governor House was temporary. It was a uh, it was a visiting left hand government. From the time I came here, and I'm very sensitive to, I'm very, very sensitive to unhygienic uh, uncleanliness. I'm very sensitive. I cannot sit in a dirty environment. I will first clean it. I clean my table to work. I clean my room to work. I clean my surrounding to work. This is my habit from childhood. When I came here, and I, when I drove the streets, they were dirty. Streets were dirty. And, but Raj Devas was very clean. And first thing as a manager, as a left wing governor was, I opened it up to people. That's management. As a leader, opening up and making it accessible. I opened it up. When I opened it up to make it an open house, people start to come and tell me. They told me exactly what I saw. Now I have two choices. As a manager, you always have two choices. One, tell them to do, tell them to do, and two, second is, show them the way to do. So we said, okay, third is, let's do it together. Third is, let's do it together. So I said, let's do it together. The good news is that the speaker of that time, now the member of parliament, then the MLAs of their time, they're all still there. They came also saying, Madam, we need your help to clean up the Grand Canal. Grand Canal was stinking up to Rajnevas. I could smell it. Gra you seen Grand Canal? It was very big. It was full of water and it had all filth all over it, plastic all over it. It still is not so good. It can be better. They showed it to me and they said, we have not succeeded so far. Madam, could you please help us? I said, of course I'll help you. But then I realized, without seeing, how do I know? I don't know Pondicherry. I have to see Pondicherry. I have to travel into Pondicherry to see it. Otherwise, it will become like another paperwork. From then on, friends, June the 2nd, 2016, June the 2nd, 2016 was my almost my first Saturday here in Pondicherry. 
till now, no Saturday, no Sunday has gone without going on the ground to see it. On the ground to see what is the problem anywhere. Till now. And by now, I think we've covered almost 230 morning rounds. You can count the number of weeks you have in an hour. And no Saturday when I'm in town, no Sunday when I'm in town, we have not gone on the ground to see. When you see as senior, the entire management galvanizes. It's like the dean or the vice chancellor into your class. You'll all be present. Anna? Yes or no? If he's coming and you know the dean might come any time, then you will be present. And if the vice chancellor is coming any time, you'll be present. And but you do not know the teacher is also coming, takes around set late. And they not you're not afraid of any check. You may come, you may not come. That's your choice. Because you're not getting caught. But my, my going and leading the Saturday, Sunday by giving personal attention and love for the cause, management began. Till then, from then on, we did not look back. Then a lot of things developed from over a period, from morning till night, weekend from Monday, Saturday to Sunday, nothing, nothing. But morning was so much of fun. That is what brought me to Pondicherry University. When I came here and I saw, you don't have rooftop harvesting. Your predecessor didn't make it. They didn't believe in it, or they didn't make it, or they didn't find the investment, they didn't get the money, whatever reasons, I don't know. Even when the PWD was telling them, do rooftop water harvesting. Yet they did not do it. Then we realized that you, you had such a wonderful 800 complex of, of forest. You were using groundwater to far, feed your trees and not replenishing. It's like Coca-Cola taking water out, but not replenishing. You're taking my bank water. If water is a bank below. So you are drawing all the time water money, but you're not putting any money. Then who's going to put the water money in it? Today, with the Prime Minister's call, all this has become a national movement. We started in Pondicherry in 216 itself. Replenish the water. Replenish the water. You are taking a bump. And then from then on, then you created these water harvesting pits by coming and seeing and pursuing the matter. Management is all about perseverance. Seeing, listening, hearing, assessing, and getting done. And then coming and seeing, and then clapping. Say, thank you very much, very good. Then you come and appreciate. So you start from negative uh, bankruptcy, but you end up with a surplus bank. It's management. Had I sat in the office, had I not come on Sundays, had we not taken everybody to task, not only the university, we went to the Pondicherry Engineering College, same situation. Tsunami quarters, lakhs of rupees per month they were spending on tankers to supply water. Today they have water harvesting pits, not at the government cost, but at the cost of shasan. We got the shasan to put up the water harvesting pits, not money, but government didn't have the money. But we told shasan, you are a pharmaceutical company, you are using the water, replenish the water. They said, yes, madam, we do it. They, they set up two water harvesting pits and tsunami water has gone up. We are not sending the, we are saving all the lakhs of rupees which we were spending. So friends, you talk about management, it's all about doing. <coughs> learning, doing. Doing, learning. And third word is engaging. You learn, so you engage yourself in the task you want to be associated. And you engage, not outsourcing it, engage yourself fully. Heart and soul in it. So when we are biking, we are putting our heart and soul in it. For us, it's nothing small, nothing big. Everything matters. So management, if you are really into a management uh, learning, it's a lesson for life. You ask me to give you an inspiration, I'm here to give you lessons for life. My life has all been practical learning, practical doing. Whether it was prison, walking the prison every day. Whether it was traffic management, driving the street every day. Whether it was crime control, going to police stations every day. So whatever was today as Lieutenant Governor, go weekends every day. Even during the weekdays, yesterday I was che checking the drains, are they ready for the monsoon? Without announcing anything particular, we went. And they were ready, they were clean. 
Why? So that when the rains come, they carry the water, you have no flooding. So friends, this is what management is. The day this country starts learning what is management. Management is not a position, it's a place of responsibility with accountability and transparency and integrity. You take anything out of it, you are only a leader in position. You are not a real leader who is responsible. Leadership means all these things. Leadership means responsible accountability with integrity. The moment you take this out, you, ha you are not a leader. You are a leader because you have a chair. It's a chair leader. But if you want to be a real cheerleader, from a chair to a cheerleader, who everybody says behind your back, wonderful leader, wonderful, you will have to be a show responsibility. All these come with accessibility. All these come with visibility. People should see the leader. They want to follow that leader. They want to respect the leader. They want to copy that leader. That is what is called inspiration. Friends, this is what I have not been to a management school. Management was not even a subject in the National Police Academy when I was getting trained. Management schools have sprung after the 70s. You are into management schools. I learned it by own conscience. What is my responsibility? What is the purpose of my being wherever I am? You may not go to management school. Just ask yourself, why am I here? Why has God given me this position? And how should I do it best? And how honest and truthful can I be to this? This is what will take you everywhere, which took me around. It's being own self-worth. To be management is personal first before you make it professional. If you're personally dishonest, you're not worth it. But if you're personally honest, it will travel to your, to your work and you'll see the change you'll make. So begin in management, as Sadhguru says, personally. Personal management should, should proceed professional management. So work profess personally on your yoga, on your own audit, or own your honesty, on your own what you say, what you do, what you see, what you eat. All this is personal management before you become professional manager for which you are earning a salary. First, become better personal managers. As I said, when you go to work, when you go to work, do you go half or do you go full? Some girl, receiver, hey, you, you don't go full, you are cheating half. But you want your full salary. But your heart and mind, are you coming to the class fully? Are you coming to the class fully to learn? Are you coming with your mind, heart and soul into the class? That means you're a wonderful student. If you're saying your mind is with your boyfriend, heart is somewhere else, and you're only bodily sitting there for attendance, you're not worth it. You are, you are, you are in a way deceiving your own self. So it's about all about personal honesty in all that you do is management. And management begins first with you as a person. If you have those elements of integrity, honesty, hard work, learning spirit, problem solving, willing to help out and reach out, you are shaping yourself onto a very good personal manager. From person to personnel manager. Then you will pass all these qualities. Nobody will have to, you will not have to be afraid that is somebody watching me or somebody is going to be writing about me or somebody is about me. Nothing. You will be remaining as it is, as true to yourself. So in the end, management schools is, you mentioned she's trying to spread ethics in management, right? Ethics begins with you. And ethics is not taught. It is loved. You don't have to be taught to be honest. You're either honest or you're not. Either you want to be honest or you're not. You can't be taught to be honest. You say, okay, yes, I'll be honest till, you, till I'm watched. So any, you see the country today, what's happening around the country? What's happening? If you're not reading newspapers, how would you know? You're not reading newspapers, no? So if any one of you is looking forward to positions of leadership, I give you a wonderful warning today. It's a warning, a lesson to be learned. Any, and all of you are looking for leadership? Yes or no? Yes. All of you? Yes. Some of you may well go into social work. 
Somebody may get into academic work, somebody may go into political world, somebody may go into business world, but whatever wrong you do now will come up 10 years now. It will come up. Or you will be afraid of it because your friend will know it. So your friend, either you continue to be a friend and please him or her, say, bully him to friend. <laughs> so time is now to correct it. You want to be a leader tomorrow in administrative service, in academic world, in um, education, whatever world you are. If you want to be fearless, you want to be courageous, and you want to be a perfect leader, then the answer is start character now. Don't be dependent on any blackmail later. This is what's happening with candidates. See, they never dreamt to be so and so. Today, with the current prime minister, current prime minister, why is he so fearless? Is anybody able to find anything? He's taking such tough decisions. I'm not being politically flattering here. I'm only ex giving you an example of management and leadership. As today, till today, I do not know about tomorrow. Till today, has anybody able to find evidence against the current prime minister? Hmm? And if they had found out, would they not have produced evidence? They would have. They would have spared nobody. This world spares no one. Because everybody wants to be in those positions. So, my clear message to you, I didn't come prepared to tell you this. But we may not meet again. I may not be able to give you the same message again. I'm giving you all my experiential learning. And I've been inspired by your vice chancellor and your dean and others to share with you whatever, or the IIPA chief here, to share with you in inspiration. Then I'm giving you my life's learning. Whatever has happened past is past, finished. Start afresh now. And you will see whatever wrong may have happened, incorrect may have happened, unethical may have happened, say it happened. But over a time, it will get corrected. Somebody will not be able to blackmail you. Be prepared for leadership in your life. You are all going to be leaders as you grow. You will be. be. When you are studying in the best of the academics, best of the universities, you will be whether it's business or other services. So what kind of character, what kind of bio data friends would you like to have? Somebody, oh, he's perfect, he's a great person. You're very good, very reliable, very trustworthy, very courageous, very honest, very hardworking, very simple, very honest. A good friend, a loyal worker. These are called personal management. Once personal management is taken care of, professional management automatically gets taken care of. Because then you will have read the concepts, you know the rules, you know the IT, and you know the technology. So that character will leave this knowledge. But without that character, only the knowledge, you are into a unsafe zone. You may succeed, you may not succeed. But if you have that foundation strong, keep building any more buildings, they stand strong. But if you don't have this foundation, you build buildings that may look very nice. You never know it may get hit by disaster management, by cyclones and tornadoes of life. And life's, who knows when is the next cyclone coming, when is the flood coming, when is the fire coming. These things are not in our hands with climate change. But that foundation will stand strong. To me, this is real management. My friends, uh, well, uh, I'm almost, I have a daughter who's older than your age, some of you, I would say as a mother, as an elder, that if you have to make a success of your leadership ahead of your life, from management school to management, then work management, personal management first. And it's a daily affair. Once you look after your daily management, daily personal management, you will build your foundation strong, then whatever challenges may come in your life, you will not fail. You will continue to succeed. So how many of you want to continue to succeed? How many of you raise your hands? How many of you want to continue to succeed? Raise your hands. How, how, how high is it? Oh, are, you, are you doubtful? Are you doubtful? Or I want to be, how much? How much? Stretch it. Like this. Okay. Show me your hand. 
and stretch your hand like this, you want to be successful. Then begin with personal management. And is personal management a course? Is personal management a course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No professional management can be without personal management. And personal management is not taught. It is learned by itself. But today I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you what is personal management. But you don't have a course. But personal management. Harvard doing happiness course. What is happiness course? MIT is doing course of happiness. What is happiness course? Nothing but personal management. And they're charging thousands of dollars for that. So could you please give me thousands of dollars each one? I've already given you a lot of course. In India, we do things free. In America, you get nothing free. You pay through your nose. And that's why you listen carefully and you want to succeed. Here everything's free, so you listen from here and get out from here. It's free. Free food, free books, free uniform, free shoes, free midday meal. Children may pass or fail out, does it matter? And the father drinks all his money, doesn't pay any fee. Because the school fee is paid for. You and my paying the taxes. So it's free. So was my lecture free. Wasn't it? So how does it matter? It's free. Have you paid for it? You will make notes. Has any one of you made notes? How many have made notes? That one man. When you come for such lectures, always make notes so that you do not forget. So that it stays with you. Because I've, I've said so many things today that God knows which one you'll pick up out of this. What will you pick? Stand up and tell me. What will you pick? From here. Okay, think. What will you pick? Huh? Okay. What will you think? Tell me, stand up. How to be with the people. How to be with the people. You're not taking real. What did you take? Because you never made notes. Huh? See, the last thing I said is only last thing. This one, next, what will you take? Personal management, my God, I said that only in the last of the, I should have said first in my lecture then. Personal management. But I have not expanded what is personal management yet. Now what was, what have you, what will you take? Okay, boy, yeah, stand up, come sit up, please. What will you take back? Practical learning. Practical learning, okay, good. Next one. Start from now. Start from now. Give her a clap. <laughs> what will you take? What will you take? Start from now is good. Good takeaway. Think. Okay, sit down. You've got to be thinking on your feet. Next one. What will you take? Personal money. What do you mean by personal money? <laughs> Tell me what's personal money. You don't know. Then, so you look at the dictionary or you go to Google. Please tell me, Google, what is personal management? He'll say, go home. Listen to your parents. Okay, next one. And continue to be honest. Continue to be honest. Good. All right. Pretty good. But that's only part of life, huh? Next one. What will you take? Next. Huh? Ethics. Next one. Leadership and business ethics will start from us. Okay, next. Quick. To do things. Huh? To do things. To do things. I need to repeat the lecture. Sorry? Okay, good. Thank you. Practical knowledge. Leadership and self learning. Self learning. Very good. Practical knowledge and leadership. A man reading newspapers each and every single day. Thank you. <laughs> start fresh or start I'm sure the parents must be telling you, your teachers must be telling you, but today you're listening to me. Start fresh and start with ourselves. Huh? Start fresh and start with ourselves. Start afresh. Start afresh and start with ourselves. Yeah, get into society and how understand what the problems and uh, will. Uh, 
like uh, with, uh, other than theoretical, try to implement in practical, like understand practical. If you permit me, Dean, let me take a class once a month on personal value. I like to do a personal value. I like to do it as a physical problem. Experience will go die with me. I don't want it to die with me. I want this to be passed on to them. I want to live it. My experience can be lived with them. So give me one day in a month. We will choose the date and time as it suits you. We'll do a small class on personal management. Okay? How to start the day, how to read news, how to do practical work. I think that would be the minimum contribution I can pay to the next generation. Okay? <laughs> well, the teachers can attend the class. <laughs> teachers can attend the class. So I'm going to meet you. You see, I've done a test check. I want to, I'm a teacher. As I told you, I started my lecture. My, I'm a teacher. I did a test check. I think you need a revision of this lecture. I think so. And I'll have to revise it in a different way, in a structured way, so that I give you the principles. But then, I will take you practical class. I'll take you along with my practical class. I'll take you with me on a Saturday, on a Sunday. Those of you who want to volunteer, come with me. Come to Rajnivas and join me. That will be practical learning. Once I teach you in the class, not teach you, I'll share with you and then say, come along and now I'll make you apply practical. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. So you can begin tomorrow. Sure. 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 Let us ask how many will join you. <laughs> okay, how many of you are willing to join tomorrow? I'll tell you where to go. But you will reach yourself. Yes, I'm not going to give you bus and transport. Yes, you will reach yourself. Yes, that will mean how much are you willing to learn. And look, I will take your attendance. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, okay, I'll tell you where I'm going tomorrow. One minute. Where are we going tomorrow? My PC. Either. Very far, isn't it? Very far. How can you go? There's no bus there. There's no bus, there's no train. Teacher has not provided. How can you go? Yes? Am I right? No? You can go? Yes. Okay. Explain again. <laughs> Once again, explain. Tell me where to go. How do you go? If you go to the right side, you go to the right side. 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 First of all, first of all, you know how many are volunteers. Let me see whether they pass the first test. Look, I've invested my two and a half hours of very important office work into you. I've invested, right? It's my personal investment. I had a choice to stay here or stay at work because work is work. I have to make a choice. So if you're willing to come, it will take you to the next level of personal leadership. Okay, so he's explained to you, we are inaugurating a pond in this Sorapet village. These villagers came to invite us the other day to say they had cleaned up the pond themselves by the help of uh, another NGO called Dhan Foundation, funding also given by Nabad, and the villagers have cleaned it. And now they want a formal inauguration. We can be part of the inauguration. You will see how the community worked. You will see how the community is enjoying its work, and you will also get to see how did the foundation help them, how did the community support them. It's a lot of man teamwork. You, you read teamwork? Yes. You read teamwork? Yes. You read project management? Yes. You will see practically. So how many of you will come? Okay, I'll have a count. Do you understand? <laughs> Saturday, Sunday are morning time. It's not bajeka time. That means you leave home, Early, you get up early. Now, how many will come at 7.30? <laughs> Seven. Tell me how many will reach by 7.15 there. I will reach by 7.20. Go, 
Raise your hands. Raise your hands properly. Now, these are the hands. Now, this is four, five. So I will deliver my first lecture on personal management with you. Those of you who come, that will be a reward, and you will be then brought to Rajnivas, given a cup of tea and a session with us at the Darbar Hall in Rajnivas, and a photograph of yours will be taken and put on the website. It will not be a free lunch. It will be no free lunches. You will have to earn it. So those of you will start coming with me in the mornings or Saturdays and Sundays, and alone will get a class from me at Rajnivas. Because it means that investment which we are making will, is being received, is being wanted. You are hungry for it. I will give this food only to the child who is hungry, not to the overfed person. You have to be hungry to learn. So those of you who come, will be invited to Rajnivas. I'll give you the date and time. We will do a little class. I'll show you some very nice films. What is real personal management? You will be different persons. So classroom will not be here. Sorry. Classroom will be at only Rajnivas. <laughs> All practical after the Saturday, Sunday morning adventure. Mere saath kaam karo, phal le lo. Bina kaam ke phal nina le. But isn't it strange that you have only 30 people? Isn't it strange? Why should you all not be? If you were to catch a train, what would you not leave? If you were to catch a train, would you not leave? I'm asking. And knowledge is no less or even more important than catching a train. It's a train for life. And only 30 of you probably have raised your hands. But I'm very happy that at least 30 have made it. 30 is a good number. We'll begin with the 30 and then see the next one. Okay? So see you tomorrow, seven, between 7.20 and 7.30 at Sorapet Pond, at the village, right? And you know the route. Thank you very much. God bless you. and is hungry to learn and experience. And it's an experience of a lifetime. It will not come again and again. So those who will be hungry will get up early, brush their teeth, comb their hair, wear fresh clean clothes and come. Right? They will come by bus or a scooter or a whatever they want. And I see I have not asked the university to give you a bus. If you see it, I want you to come on your own. When you come on your own, it's a different style. Then you'll remember it all your life. So this is the picture we are having. Okay? So show your faces, all of you. <laughs> See the video? And now, after the, when we do the Rajnivas personal lecture, I'll show you the video then. And this photo is not for publication yet. Yes. <laughs> Any press? No publication of this photograph yet. Photograph will be only tomorrow when they are on the site. Okay? Thank you.